G'day, g'day. Welcome to Easy Jeezy, Map and Made Breezy. Now, I don't have much time because I'm just about to head out on a run of some brand new headphones. Um, but in this guide, we're going to look at um, adding some new fields and doing some field calculations, okay, um, in ArcGIS Pro. So let's get started. Um, so we're going back to our Walker sample point, okay. Um, and we're going to have a look at the attribute table. So if we right click on ten points and open up the attribute table, just right click the attribute table. Here's here. Let's uh, give it a bit more space. So let's drag it out and float it. Okay. Um, so we've got all our fields uh, along here. We've got things like air temp in degrees Celsius, ground temp in degrees Celsius, humidity, etc. We're going along. We've got. Uh, we've got some traffic counts as well. We've got sort of uh, what we got? Urban, urban bus counts, taxi counts, tourist bus, bicycle counts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, just imagine that we wanted to uh, we wanted to add a few extra fields in. Okay. Now we can obviously you know do this in another program and then import it. Look at uh, look at joining a table, for example, which is something we can look at in a little bit. But you may also want to just do it there and then in in gis which is actually pretty straightforward um so let's go about it let's uh let's we've got our air temp and we've got our ground temp so let's look at uh, an average temp okay so an average temperature so an average of the two okay um so to do that in our attribute table we've got a new field let's add a new field okay we can actually click on calculate here but um let's go through the long sort of process first add field Okay, field view, you've got a new field that's going to appear down the bottom. So we're just going to call this mean temp. Okay, and across for the alias. Um, well, uh, let's just call it mean temp as well, just to keep it simple. Uh, I want this as a double. Okay, the type. So, um, and then the number format, let's make that numeric. And I don't need six decimal places, let's just go with one decimal place, keep it nice and clean. Okay, uh, and then we can click save at the top here. Okay, now this is just our list of fields. Uh, let's close this down, or we can just click back over here to sample points. Okay, to see our sample points here, and you'll see that at the very end now, once it drags across, there's a new one called mean temp, and currently they're all null values because there's nothing in there. Okay, we've just added the field, but we haven't added any of the any, any data to that field. Uh, let's change that, however. So let's right click on the mean temp, the title there, and we go calculate field. Okay. Um, input table, we leave that. It's a, it's a sample point. We're working with that. Uh, field name already there, mean temp. Uh, Python tree, we can leave it like that for now. Uh, and here's our formula. So mean temp equals, and we put it in here. So let's first up at opening brackets. And then you want to go down to the field you want to uh, include. So let's open our bracket, air temp up here, and we want to add in plus. Okay, and then double click on ground temp, uh, ground temp, close our brackets, and then divide it by two. Okay, and let's say okay. Run that calculation, and it should be pretty quick. There you go. There's your mean temp. So it's what it's calculated for all the records okay each one it's calculated that that formula that we put in there um ground temp plus air temp divided by two okay to give us an average there okay the other way we can go around is let's say we want to uh we want to use uh we want to get a total traffic count so let's say like everything including bicycles buses even people pedestrians okay so we can go the same we can do the same way we go through add field etc etc or we just click calculate Okay, so calculate uh, sample points. Um, now, in this case, we can overwrite an existing uh, field. We don't want to do this. In this case, we want to make a new one. So we can say total traffic. Okay, it's going to ask us what type. We're going to say a double, double precision. Okay, um, and then we can just Go down here, and our total traffic is, let's go, uh, where is our traffic figures? There we are. Okay, so let's say double click on taxi, plus urban bus, plus tourist bus, 
plus bicycle count plus commercial services plus motorcycle plus private car. And then I guess here you can decide whether you're just going to do vehicles or you're going to include pedestrians as well. For this one, let's, let's include pedestrians. Okay. Double click. Okay. And then click OK. And let's scroll to the right. And there we go. Our total, or oh, I spelled it wrong, Trafis. Okay. Uh, but there you have it. Uh, there. Now we can actually we can go back to fields. I can. Uh, just change out the total traffic. Okay, and then we can just go here and well, yeah, leave it. Let's just say numeric. Doesn't need decimal places, but okay. Uh, and there we go. Let's close it down. Save yes. Save those changes. And there we have it. Within our GIS uh, Pro, we've been able to um, add or calculate these uh, these new fields. Okay, hope it helps. See you next time. Ciao.